Hi, I'm Peter Kalmstrom of Kalmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to format numbers so that you can see the type of value in the cell and still having the formulas work. Let me start by showing you the problem here. I'm going to do a simple formula calculating the max uh, kilometers driven in this range here. And you see it's the one with 24,000 kilometers on it there. And now if I change one of these values and type out the kilometers like that, you see that uh, is taken away. If I do the same thing with all of these, it's taken away. You see it gets shorter and shorter. You also see that these numbers are written to the left. That's because these numbers are no longer being treated as numbers because I've uh, written the sort behind this. And that's, of course, a very good practice to do, to have the sort written out so that you know that you're not comparing, you know, apples and oranges and those kind of things. Uh, but if I just type in the kilometers like that, then it doesn't work. Dollars, that sometimes works if you type it in, in the right way. And you can use the number formats. But I'm going to show you how to work with any kind of form format, kilos, grams, tons, whatever you want, in the same cell. So I'm going to just select this range here and go into this number format dialog. And here I can specify my own number format and do a custom format. And here I can type in a format. And if I use this, that stands for a number if it has a value. This, of course, is a, a separator. The space separator is common in Sweden and the dot separator is common in the um, US. Uh, and if I do like that, but I want the number to show always. And then the trick here is to type in what, what I want. And in this case, I want kilometers like that. And um, that's the trick. Simply type in a format like that. And as you see now, I got the wrong number of decimals there. Don't want that. And there you go, I have the 1700 kilometers, etc. And of course, I can change these values, and if I enter 30,000, then that should change. Yes, now it works. Uh, so, of course, I can do this. I take this format now and copy that over here, and now I have kilometers there also. And I can do the math on that one. And of course, I can do the math on these. I can see count, I can see sums, and all that. So, um, just building a format like that works great. So, if I want to have another value, let's see. I want to have 1,000 tons over here. For some reason, I'll just do, again, number formatting and go into a custom format and type the number indicators here, 1,000, and uh, then the ton. Of course, notice that I do have a space there because, I, well, I want it to look better like that. And then decrease the, the decimals like that. Thank you for watching this demonstration.